Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. I just don't thank God for that because they must have watching out for me today. Oh, I just seen you. You look, you know, it feels good today, though. I must have yeah. brought some of that warm weather with me from Louisiana, I think. Well, <laughs> let me tell you something. My business is slow right now. So, um, I was staying with one of my, because I just moved from Vegas. My business To right Cheyenne? Here. You came here from Vegas, yeah, really? I was stationed here 30 years ago. I you were there. in the military? I mean, that's right. Uh -huh. And so Excuse this me. happened, you're just like out here? Well, let me tell you. Actually, like I said, my business went under in Vegas, so the time was really dead down. So I came back out here, you know, and started my business up out here, and um, now it's winter time. It's, it's now it's slow. You live here? I just moved here. Oh. From Louisiana. I've been here two months. Two months? Really? Okay. Yeah. You I haven't even felt the winter yet. You have a house? Not yet. Oh. <laughs> I'm looking. That's me. And that number on there is my license number. If ever you need it, or you know friends or family. Tree doctor, huh? Oh yeah. You do because that trees? license number. Oh, awesome. that's on there. So you call that. You call the city down there, and they tell you yes, he's licensed and insured. Awesome. So you need. Uh, you got friends, but anyway, my business okay. is, cool. it's slow right now. Well, yeah, so, during the I winter, I would imagine. Uh, yeah. So I was staying with a church member out there, 30 miles outside of town. Yeah. For a while. I didn't afford it now. You know, we came into town Friday. We had business take care of them. We delivered a bunch of bananas and stuff like that. This guy's 71 years old now. Yeah. So let me tell you about this. So. <laughs> Interesting, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> they're good people, though. I mean, if they're in, if they're in charge and stuff, they're good people usually. So. Uh, he called us and wanted us to go pick up a bunch of bananas. 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 Here? We have 48 <laughs> cases. Yeah, of bananas. 48 cases. We're delivering bananas to all these other churches. We took 16 over to our church here today. And um, we're, we're, we're distributing them out. You know, we went over to McDonald's right over there, delivering that and see some girls over there. I see there's this one there. And. He's in the truck and I'm out there handing up the bananas. The girls are being all nice to me. He's a, he's a nice guy, but he's got his dark side. Yeah, everybody but, does. Yeah. He but he's giving you a place to stay, right? Like you ain't gonna be well, out in the cold. I'm gonna tell you. So, as I'm passing up to these bananas to the girls, they're all thanking me and being all kind and nice. And stuff. And we start getting done set. No, I'm getting ready to go. Let's go, let's go. I said, wait a minute. If you want to come out, you see, we said, I don't care. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I said, Tim. No. Uh, he said, no, get a car. I'm leaving you right here. I'm leaving you. I said, okay, fine. So I said, I got, I got in there, got in the car. I said, man, you embarrassed me and everything else. I said, you don't, you want somebody to go in with these girls and make me embarrassed and stuff. And I come over here every day with you a coffee. Mm -hmm. He said, close my door. I said, I close the door. He said, don't slam my door. I said, dude, what are you talking about? I didn't slam you. He said, get out, get out, get out. I said, that's not even Christian. Though. He said, get out. So I got out. <laughs> now I'm here. All my clothes and everything is over this house. Everything. That's awful. Yeah, I've been here since Friday night. My first night, I didn't have that sleeper bag. Mm. Yeah. Where'd you get that from? You went and got it? Somewhere? Yeah, over at the shelter. Yeah. First so there I is a shelter around here, right? Uh, well, there's a lot of shelters around here. You get different ones, you can go for different times for a different day. There's only one that you can sleep at, and it's full. And I stayed there uh, for about two weeks when I first got here. I think I would ever sleep outside. Yeah, yeah but when it gets cold, old, I, mean, I mean, you know. Yeah, at night, I was cold. I made it through the night. My sleeping bag is a lot warmer. I've been nice and cubby holding under that. Nice. Nice and warm up in there. Hey, I was thinking about me. I'll be down, but I'm never out. Is there two legs? That's right. That's yeah. the way it is nowadays. Look, we didn't have all these modern conveniences back in the old days anyway. Everybody had to make fires and do what they had to do. And Well, you know, I called my pastor and told him at the church, this guy, we all go to meet him when we go to the church. And he said, well, that sounds like a girl fight. You, know, you guys need to talk to each other. Blah, blah, blah. I mean, you do hurt my feelings. No, I ain't got no pride or nothing like that. Stuff me out here like that. I'm not going to call him. 
you know, and, and say, hey, this is, no, I mean, I got pride and everything else. Yeah, right. You know, matter of fact, and I, that was Friday. None, none of the church members called me or nothing, you know, so I ain't worried about it. I just joined Well, I just happened to have this gumbo in my car, That's so. That's I said, God just told you to look out for me, so. Uh, I don't even know why out. I got it. That was weird. I was like. I just did when I left my house and then I seen you and I was like, that's okay. That's why you're supposed to get it. Yeah, it's Sunday, so you know. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes God does it, so yeah. that's the way it happens, but it'll work out. All right. I hope Thank it you. works out for you. Oh, it will. All right. Thank you.